My key! That was a very good hunt we had! Didn't we? We need to melt all the loot down! And eat it! Yes! We should go melt the whole thing down! But first let's get home! We'll be more comfortable there! Now we need to get home at a very fast pace! Otherwise all the meat will be gone and we'll be without food for sure! JJ! Let's you and I take a break now and go do our daily chores! That would be a great plan for today! Considering we've been out hunting for 24 hours! Let's put things in the trunk then! And let's go do them! So glad we moved away from all these worries! I'm tired of living in the big city! Come on, Mikey, let's go outside with you! I want to walk with you right now! Look! There's something standing in the field! Let's go check it out! I see a piece of metal! And it's really big! You what? It's an airplane! And it's in perfect condition! Don't you dare break it! What? Here! Take that iron! What have you done, Mikey? That was a plane! You could fly it! And it's beautiful to fly! What were you hoping for, you fool? Now we have to rebuild a new plane! Now let's have an airplane building contest! It would be a great way to distract us from our everyday days! We have the materials in the house to build an airplane! I just happened to get them along with the food! Yes! Let's do it! Let's go get all the materials we need out of the chests! There'll be plenty! I've seen there's plenty! I'm sorry I didn't order you good materials in time! Because I didn't have enough money at the time! And now I do! What kind of plane would you like? What? Write in the comments! So, Mikey! How do you like the idea of starting to build one? So, JJ! How do you like the idea of starting to build one? I don't have the energy to start building anymore! Come on, hurry up! Do you think we need to talk about airplanes? I'm sure we do! Now I'm going to build some really big wheels! They're really big! Really big! And then after the wheels, I'm gonna build the foundation of the airplane! It'll also be big enough not to be noticed! I want to build it inside, but that's as far as it goes! Because I have limited material and it will be hard to spend it wisely! And I'm so bad at this stuff! I have to use earth instead of wheels! I don't think it will take off, but that's as far as it goes! Even if it doesn't take off, it won't hurt because I'll have a pretty huge one! Don't forget you'll have to make iron wings too! And I'll have to make earth wings! It is the world's largest production transport aircraft in terms of payload capacity! The aircraft was designed primarily for air transportation of mobile launchers for intercontinental ballistic missiles, as well as for large-scale amphibious airlift of personnel, heavy combat equipment and large-capacity transportation in the interests of the national economy. Multistage landing gear equipped with 24 wheels allows to use the aircraft from unpaved runways, as well as to change the parking clearance and fuselage tilt angle, which facilitates loading and unloading operations. What are you saying now, JJ? No one is interested! Why don't you tell me how to build it? All right! Right now, I'm building the walls of this plane! And after that, I want it with seats like Mikey's! We'll have to see what he does with his plane's furnishings later! Because it's not clear! What if he comes up with something original? I also have a question! How will I make it fly? But I already have a little plan on how to do it! I'm also going to make myself a door opener! It's like being in a collective farm without doors! I'll have to ask Mikey for some more glass! And without glass will not be such a beauty when you take off! I have another question! What do I do with the driver's seat? It doesn't really matter, though! W I'll tell you a few facts about the plane! While we're building them! Otherwise it's very much boring! The heaviest airplanes weigh over several hundred tons! The tires on the landing gear of airplanes are designed for four times the pressure they actually experience when landing! They have an enormous safety margin, and that is the official international standard! Airline pilots who are part of the same crew are not allowed to eat the same food! This practice eliminates the chance of both of them getting poisoned at the same time! Wow! How interesting! Mikey! I'm building the foundation already! It's even easy enough to build! Oh no! I suggest you hurry up! Because time is running out soon! Although I'd like to hurry too! Listen! You want to hear more about airplanes? Or our life stories? 
Yes! Come on! This is going to be very interesting. Remember when you and I were still building cars? Well, go, these go, cars go. were sold by our children. Imagine that. I just found that out myself. I'm shocked. The money wasn't shared. And now they're in town. I can't believe they did this to us. I'm also already building a backboard in the airplane. It's beautiful. It's all muddy and so uncomfortable. It's horrible. I suggest we end this ordeal quickly and get to the bottom line. And the results will take a very long time to summarize. And I do not want to delay. Oh my god! I remember that. And the bottom line won't be long. You better tell me something about Mikey's planes. I notice you know a lot about them. A person who suffers from aerophobia is not reassured by information that the risk of a crash is 1 in 11 million sorties, and that the probability of a crash is 0.00001%. But if you calculate that the probability of a safe landing is 99.9999815%, that's another matter, isn't it? When it comes to cars, the chance of dying in a car crash is 1 in 5,000. It is estimated that if a passenger were to land on a random flight every day, it would take them 21,000 years to be in a plane crash. The view that in the event of a crash the chances of survival are minimal is incorrect. A detailed study of serious accidents over the past 40 years found that in all of these crashes, about 67% of the people on board survived. How interesting Mikey! And I'm already putting my own windows on the plane! It's not bad at all! It's not even bad! Let me finish up and go see what's going on in there. Don't you check what's going on in there. It doesn't really matter. It's better to take care of your plane. You'll have better things to do with it. I already have my hands full building these planes. I suggest we finish now and go to sleep long enough. Because we're really tired from today. We thought we'd be doing other things, but here's the thing. Let's finish up now and go take a break. Maybe if we can, we'll fly over to the same plane. I already have my hands full building these planes. I suggest we finish now and go to sleep long enough. Because we're really tired from today. We thought we'd be doing other things, but here's the thing. Let's finish up now and go take a break. Maybe if we can, we'll fly over to the same plane. I'm already building a roof for my plane while you do something there. Hurry up and build it. You won't make it to me in time. If you don't, you won't have time for anything. Hey! I build fast enough too. I build just as fast as you. So it's no big deal. I can keep up with you. Now I will remove only the iron that is under the plane. There it will just get in the way of the plane taking off. And we don't need it that way. I want it to take off cool. No problem. I'm also going to go check what you have in there. See if there's anything good in there. Ugh! What a very strong stink you have in here. I can't stand it. Let's get you cleaned up in here. Yeah, that's right. That's the kind of door I need to make in the back. It'll look better in there. Hey! Don't steal my plane chip. I didn't go anywhere near your plane. And I didn't sneak and steal anything. Let me do that and you'll feel good about it. I don't think it'll feel good. Don't come near my plane again. I'll go. And steal one very cheater thing. That will bring my airplane to life. I can't even imagine Mikey's reaction. When he finds out I have it. Whoa! Mikey's going to be shocked by this. What I'm going to do with my plane. I don't even know what's going to happen next. Shit! I can't place it under the plane so it won't be visible. That's a shame. But nothing. I'll put it right in the cockpit. I won't be hurt. Well. All right. I'm about to put this cheater chip in the plane on one. Two. Three. Wow, what a beautiful plane I have. I can't believe it. Mikey. Come see what I did. You can even fly it. In case you didn't know. What? But how did you get such a powerful airplane? I'm shocked. You can really fly it. Let me show you a few things about how to fly it if you fly it now. The main control is the steering wheel. 
With it, we can control the plane and roll and pitch. In order to raise the nose of the airplane, you have to pull the helm toward you. This movement of the airplane is called pitching. If the helm is pushed toward you, the nose will go down. This is called a dive. When you turn the helm to the left or right, the airplane rotates around its longitudinal axis in the same direction, i.e. it increases or decreases the roll. The pedals are used for yaw control, rotation of the airplane around its vertical axis. Pressing the right pedal will also turn the nose of the airplane to the right. What? The pedals are mainly used on takeoff and landing on run-up and runway. The third important control is the engine control levers, or throttle levers for short. They control the thrust of the engines, and therefore the speed of our flight. You can control the thrust manually, but more often in flight the automatic thrust control is used, it controls the levers automatically and maintains the set speed. Wow! You learned a lot about airplanes! I'm surprised anyway, Mikey, that you are changing before my eyes. A couple of hours ago you broke it, and now you fly it and even explain how to fly and fly it. I can't believe you've changed so much. Although there's probably a reason for that, I take it. Yes! There are reasons. I just broke it down and felt bad about the incident. And instead of me building a normal airplane, I read how to fly this airplane. The airplane is well enough I have studied it and I know what and where it is. Let me tell you that you can even do somersaults in an airplane. But it's very complicated nice. and dangerous. I don't advise you to do it there. Even though we're playing. What do you think? Is it dangerous to fly in an airplane? Write in the comments. I suggest you explore your plane. And put a cheater's chip yeah. on it. Woo. That might help you. But I'm not so sure about that. Because it's made of dirt. And it doesn't work on dirt. I'm right, aren't I? You can't put a chip in a dirt plane. I'm going to get us a button. And we'll check it out. What will happen after all? Let me do it quickly. I can tell you a few more facts about the plane. You will like them 100%. They will be very amazing. But you and I still need to check out the cheater's chip. But that chip probably won't work on my plane. Because it's mud. And you can't even get electricity into a mud plane. Since when did I start getting smart? Since I must have read a book about airplanes. Ha ha! Okay, tell me about it already. Nothing works anyway. The flight of an airplane is the result of the lifting force that occurs when air currents move toward the wing. It is turned at a precisely calculated angle and has an aerodynamic shape, due to which at a certain speed it begins to tend upwards, as the pilots say, becomes airborne. Engines accelerate the airplane and maintain its speed. Jet engines push the airplane forward by burning kerosene and the flow of gases rushing out of the nozzle with great force. Propeller engines pull the airplane with them. Wow! I'm so tired of these facts already. Let's just get your Earth plane out of the way. It stinks a lot. I'd rather fly my plane again, than stand here and smell it. So fly! I can clean it up myself and nothing will happen to me. Although let's clean it up together. I'll get really tired of cleaning it all up. Hurry down and let's clean it up. Come on, let's go clean up your plane. Let's just go home and get some shovels. You don't want to clean it up with your bare hands. Even though it doesn't smell good, it doesn't mean anything. Let's go get some shovels and go clean this stuff up. Let's just go home and get some shovels. You don't want to clean it up with your bare hands. Even though it doesn't smell good. It doesn't mean anything. Let's go get some shovels and go clean this stuff up. Well, that was a great adventure. Now we just have to figure out where to put all the dirt that was left on the plane. And then we have to figure out what to do with the plane. Because if we don't take the plane and that dirt, then we're going to be in trouble again and we're going to get kicked out of the village. <laughs>